one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and I'm here to do a cold start of this Mercury today, station wagon. It's got the big old 400 or 460. When you see it, maybe you'll be able to tell me better than I can tell you, but we'll see what happens. And I've been, yeah, it's a process. It's been a process. And no matter what, when something sits as long as that sat, I'm going to get my mail, excuse me. Something sits as long as that sat, it's always going to be issues with something. So we'll see what happens here, how long it takes, and all that. I hope you enjoy. I don't have the best format for this, but I'm just going to keep improving upon it, and the cold starts will be better in the future. What I've got here for you today is a cold start on this old Mercury wagon. Yeah, baby. It's been a long time. I'm going to get inside of it and pop the hood. It's a 400 or a 460. I forget. It's new enough. They have the hood pull latch thing though. Kind of cool. I don't even know what could be under here. Something could jump out at me. You never know. Look at that beautiful motor. I'm serious. That is just absolutely gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Okay, well, we round up a battery and a couple things and try and cold start this big beast. It could have been so low the key wouldn't even crank it. There's not enough juice to start this big motor. Battery's low. Okay, I'm gonna charge. Any battery over there still? Probably. Put a different one in it. You want to try a good battery and see what happens? Okay. It takes a big old This is your knot. It is pretty loose. <laughs> wow! Would it be something that's cranked? Let's pour a little fuel in there, huh? It ain't showing no fuel on the gauge. It's gonna fire right off. It's gonna fire right off now. Give me one more. Yeah, it's getting low. Long way to the fuel tank. Getting a foot workout. It actually came up a bit. Yeah, I don't think it's got enough gas in it. Seems like it might want to, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna charge that battery. The battery's on the charger overnight here. Yeah. She runs. You like to glue out the tail pipe. All over my camera? All that over the Whoa! Fur. Something was building a nest in there, huh? Yeah. Wow. Cool. It's like a. Remember Eddie Murphy? Put the banana in the tailpipe. Got the banana in the tailpipe. He is really different. Yeah, it runs. Well, with all the cleaning up of trash and having of burn piles and all this and getting everything going, cleaning, 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 I've been making videos with a couple cameras, my Google Glass and my camera camera. Oh, these guys are eating all the marshmallows, huh? <laughs> That's funny. But I've lost my camera and it snowed again last night. I'm thinking my, cam my camera might be under the snow. Which isn't that cool. We shall see. I got somebody coming by to get the dogs. Me and Rich spent a long time over here yesterday. And we got a little bit of stuff set up to where we got everything out of this corner to where the stereo wall's there. I got a power supply for it. And mostly we cleaned up these boxes. <sighs> What do you do with all the stuff? You know, it's not like I can throw it away. It's straight up money. But somewhere is a camera, and that's my goal for the day. Now we filled this up to get that empty. And man, it's just, honestly, I think me and Rich have moved this crap a couple, three, two, three, four times now. But, well, unfortunately, my camera is not over here. And I was really. <laughs> Really hoping. I guess it could be in the garage. Womp, womp. You know, I want to make the daily vlogs, but sometimes you just run out of things to talk about. Light switch. Okay, please be out here. Look at this. Rich tools, screwdrivers. Household, auto related. That stuff's going on eBay. Huh. No camera yet. Wait, wait. That strap is not for the camera. But this needs to go next door, so. Yeah. Huh. No camera. Um, um, how long? Oh, right about here? No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just about maybe that much off, I'll bet? No. Well, like, probably be about here. Like, see, it's all up right now, but if it was about, like, that much, your mom would probably be happy. Like, down the right there? Here, let me show you on your back. Right about maybe there. What does that mean? Um, I gotta ride my motorcycle. If? If, um... Well, the snow's got to go away, but you got to learn to do something else. Um, I'll give you a hint. What's the hint? Ride without training. If you can't ride without training wheels, you can't ride a motorcycle. Oh my God. Ugh. Yep. Yeah, it sucks. I bet you it's ruined. We'll find out. I'm gonna take a picture. 
God, it sucks. I don't know if this will clean up. Depends on how much moisture got inside, I think. But let's just try it out right away. It's coming on. It's taking pictures. We shall see. Okay, so how tough is the Sony? Dude, it turned on, it's taking pictures. I mean, it took a while to turn off, but sometimes it does that. Oh God, let me get inside and get a rag. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. Not that, huh? Seventy three. <laughs> <laughs> she got oh my God. Weird. <laughs> she got okay. Uh, Can you hold it? Will he get into his mouth? I bet you he might. <laughs> okay, getting her done. Went and got some fuel. I actually put a probably about a gallon in it before I left. Just didn't have the fuel. We've been cleaning and doing. I'm gonna cold start that. Figure out what exactly is wrong with it and all that. But Yeehaw, the cold start of the, I hope the video got the, everything blown out of the tailpipe yesterday. That was kind of funny actually, but yeehaw. Oh. Okay, let me get this call. Hello. Well, <laughs> here we go baby. I love doing this. Not the bitter gas. Move this here to where something just catch on fire. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn this on where I can film the cold start cranking and all from here. Last time. Last time a big chunk of stuff came flying out of there. So we could get to see that too. Okay. Here we go. Yeehaw. I think two or three, two or three times of this. I mean, it could just work. What? Richie's right. This thing is pretty damn loose. I'm gonna tighten it up. But I'm trying to cheat. Yeah, that's just not tight enough. Oh, there we go. That is. See what that does. I don't hear no buzzing. And I don't see no light. Well, now that's weird. I don't think I'm gonna have to tighten them up. Dang it. I could have something to do with it there too. I'm a little ticked now. Well, I really don't see. Well, I'm not getting no juice. Well, that's getting juice. Are you serious? 
I charged this all this time, and it's still dead. This is dead as it gets. Well, I've got all kinds of classics and different kind of junk everywhere, but I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up my battery posts. I hate tightening up battery posts, just because I go through so many times of moving batteries around, and then you, eh, just this nonstop thing. But I think it's what it's gonna take in this case, because I had the car unhooked when I was charging it, and there's just no reason for the thing to be dead. So we'll see what happens here. Okay. Jeez, man. I hate when these suckers are in a weird spot. Some batteries fit the post better than others, I guess. And I guess some even more. Depends on what wrench you got. Right now, I'm not liking the combination of such. But, okay, I don't like the corrosion on the end of this wire. I think that's definitely gonna cause a problem in the future. Well, let's see what we get here. Woozy Woog. Did I turn it off? Oh my God, are you serious? No way. There is no way. And I think my battery is just shot because this thing is hooked up tight. And I'll bet you, once I put this on and go turn the key on again, it's gonna start buzzing at me and the lights are gonna come on because it just seems like what's gonna happen. Now we find out. Why would I take the keys out? Oh my goodness. People just call me over and over. So, the lights come on and it gives a kind of crank. But that battery is stone cold dead. Okay, so it's about the fourth time I've walked out here tonight. At least my mail's here now and I can pick it up. But I'm here to tell you, these things don't always go as planned. This is the, oh man, it's just tonight because we tried it the other day. I do have a lot of cars. <laughs> you know, I never show this as much, but it's a old 442 um, W30 or whatever. Convertible Ram Air 455. Cool car. Okay, I'm not thinking this is going to fire off. That's why I bought the jump box. I'm going to have to close this hood now. It's starting to snow. Okay. Let's see if we can get a, a crank or two out of it. I think I left the keys in it. Uh -uh. I can tell just the way that's cranking. That battery shot. Guaranteed. So, let's try to double up on it while we're out here. And this was my daily work vlog for today. Um, I'm gonna try this one again if it doesn't work. But I'm here to tell you, I think this will give me a bit of a battery tester. 12.9. Turn this on. It's reading 12.9. Huh. That don't make a lot of sense. Something's wrong. Something's definitely wrong. It's not getting the power. Well, that's a couple times of that. I think that solenoid's bad. I sure do. I guess it could just be dead. Is it that dead? I'm gonna go get another battery. Just because. I just know this car cranks. This has to be a battery issue, man. I absolutely love these dry cell batteries, but I think this one's getting a little old. I really do. Well, here we go again.
this bad bitch out of here. And I think this should fix our problem. <laughs> but funny thing is, this battery was coming up dead on here yesterday. So I'm gonna put this on here. And I'm gonna test. I'm gonna test. See, look at this. Over here, it's super easy to tie this thing down, man. It's a whole different battery setup. I do not like this particular terminal over here, though. So, okay, we got it. I'm just gonna see if it buzzes. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice car. This one's got no battery either. I'm gonna leave this on. Nothing. So that's dead. Let's see if I put this on here. And this on here. Okay, now. Okay. Fine then. We shall just get us a bunch more amperage on here or whatever it's called. Yeah, now we're talking. What's it got now? Like 47.5? Woo! 14, 3, 14, 1, 13, 9, going once, going twice. That jump box only gonna go. What's happening to it? Let's see. Take a couple times of this. <laughs> Nothing. The lights are on though. There's just not enough juice. I'm gonna have to get a good battery and see what happens. Um, 14, 9. That's a lot. That's a lot. But. No way. No, I was gonna say. You know that solenoid or a starter could be out. I don't know my diagnosis very much. Obviously it runs good. It's just got something wrong with the charging or starting system. This car is running. This car is running! Now I put a gallon of gas in it, but car's running. I'm gonna see if it'll idle here. Just leave it idling for a minute. Hello? Uh, white Chevy. What kind of white Chevy is it? What kind? What kind of car is it? Oh, Caprice. No, you, did, you didn't actually say Caprice. But no, I don't have it anymore. I'm sorry. I don't have it anymore. I'm sorry. But good luck. Okay. It's flat, puking out some smoke. Now, I don't know if it's just running too rich. Oh, is that old gas, maybe? It's got some old gas. I had a little bit. The car's running. I'm gonna have to find out what that's all about. Oh. There we go. That's part of the problem right there. Well, you think that's the problem with the smoke. It's just running hot, man. Real hot. I mean, not hot, rich. Because it's just puking it out. I wonder what it smells like. Old fuel, man. It smells like old fuel. But, it's puking it out like crazy. The car's a runner. It's definitely running rich. <laughs> running rich and rich ain't here. Okay, well, that's the cold start. That was it. I'm glad we've got that done. Now, what I'm going to do is leave this battery charging. Oh, I tightened it. Ah, see, that's why I hate tightening these things. I gotta take them all off all the time. Okay, well, I don't have the best procedure for doing these cold starts and such, but 
I'm gonna do them and I'm just gonna keep starting cars counting cars starting cars so join along because I'll tell you what I got plenty more to start and then I'm gonna be uploading same daily videos not the same ones but I'll be doing the same and uploading my daily videos this other battery shot, man. Just shot. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna leave this bad boy charging. I'm gonna close this. She's alive! Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure and subscribe. Like I say, daily videos all the time. Let's do this. See you tomorrow.